You need me to make another ice cream? Yeah. God so bless us all, mate. Um, I would like you to repeat some stuff about some of my friends when you to say. I really appreciate it. Uh, first of all, we've got to admit, that was a pretty cheesy line. You know, you have a really strange way of apologizing. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just that we have been working through, been working through this all night, night and, and I, think I think I'm, I'm starting, starting to lose it. it. <laughs> Look. Look. You, you know, know how, how I truly feel. feel. You, you also, also know me better, better than anyone else. else. I made I a stupid, stupid decision, decision to protect you when we were kids, and it just kept escalating from there. there. I, wanted I wanted to tell you so many times, times but, it but it got harder and harder, and harder especially, especially when you started, started leaving the tickets. I could bring, bring myself, myself to take that away from you. It would be like you finding out that America's Next Top Hand model was fixed. Wait, Wait, is, is it? it? Did you hear something? <laughs> no. I was just, just using that as an example. Oh. Okay. Because I don't yeah, think I could handle that right now. I think I, think I always knew deep, deep down, down that it was all too good to be true. true. But I'd but never I'd meet them. them. But I guess, I guess a part of me wanted to believe that maybe, maybe something, something bigger, bigger would come out of all of this. That it wasn't, wasn't just about action figures or championships or entertaining millions of people. That it, that it would help, help me find, find a part, part of myself that was missing. But, but maybe something, something bigger did come out of all this. This it wasn't about finding two people who would fill a hole in your life. It was about millions of people finding you to fill holes in their lives. <laughs> now that was cheesy. <laughs> but it's true. Maybe. I have something for you. Please, Please don't, don't tell me this is a letter from my long-lost aunt and uncle telling me to forgive my best friend. Just open it. What's this all about? It's our new list. On one of my ice machine runs, or maybe it was one of the times you locked me out of the room, I can't remember, but... I made some phone calls to management, and it's unprecedented, but they've agreed to let us get revenge on Brooklyn and Samoa Joe at tomorrow night's WrestleMania. Assuming you're on board. I guess we're coming out of retirement. This has to be some kind of record. There's one other thing you need to know. Brooklyn and Samoa Joe agreed to the match, but only if we put our Hall of Fame spots on the line. You really want to do this? If we don't fight back after what they did, then we don't deserve those spots. Package deal. I'm in. Hey, just, just wanted, wanted to let you know, know I, left I left two open seats, seats in the audience, audience just like you always did. Why? I mean, I mean obviously, obviously my birth parents aren't showing up anytime soon. soon. So was so it just for good luck or out of respect or something? No we'll see. It doesn't, doesn't matter, matter how, how tonight, tonight turns, turns out, because either way, I'm proud of how far you and Red have come. I mean, I mean sure, sure, it'd be, it'd be nice, nice to be able to say I trained two WWE Hall of Famers, famers and, and I could probably raise, raise my, my rights again. again. But, but like, like I said, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Didn't always see eye to eye, but me and Red owe you for helping us get our stuff done. 
What do you mean we didn't see eye to eye? You were my tri student. Never doubted you once. I used to call you sure thing Trey. Are you serious? You thought I'd be a manager at best. And you definitely didn't think I'd make it to WWE, let alone become a Hall of Famer. I think you said something about pooping golden nuggets. I don't recall that. Anyway, good luck, sure thing. It's good. Suck it! Look, I know we haven't spoken much since I've been gone, but I just wanted to say I'm pulling for you tonight. And Brooklyn had no right to exploit your past and ruin your big moment. I'll show you a big moment. I appreciate you saying that. But, I also know how your impatience and temper can get the best of you sometimes. So I'm a little worried that you rushed into this match, especially considering your condition and what's at stake. Thanks for your concern, seriously. But this is something we have to do, no matter what we could lose in the process. Triple H! I know you're gonna tell us it's not too late to change our minds about the match and putting our Hall of Fame spots on the line, but we need to do this. I wasn't gonna say that at all. It's actually way too late to change your minds. The match is happening. Oh. Okay, well, that's good then. I was going to say that if things don't go well, Brooklyn and Samoa Joe can't erase your legacies. Everything you worked for and accomplished won't just disappear. Sounds like you don't think we can win. Look, you both have defied the odds before, but I'm just being realistic. <laughs> when it comes time to honor the Hall of Fame class tonight, We'll, we'll be, be out, out there, there front, front and center. And center. <laughs> Go to match. Yep, we it's chapter eighteen. No, because hmm? Michael's not even talking. I'm tired. Okay. Never mind. I'm not even the station now just in case I get a remote. I don't know what other game to play then. No, this is my first match at WrestleMania. It's the mixed match challenge. Me and Sasha versus Samojo in Brooklyn. This is why I want to see this. It's time to move on. Hmm? I'm glad you're here. And listen to music. Okay. Okay. I don't know. 
I probably won't even go lay down. Oh, you know that thing that was that I told you about my gum, that in my teeth, my gums. I pulled that gum thing. No, it looks like a teeth, not that a hole in my gums. Come on, let's get to the match. Jesus. I can't skip it. Why did that button not work? Jesus. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, oh, he did my move. Dude, oh my god. <laughs> All right, cut scene. Completed clutch by King Jacob. Oh.
An ankle lock on freaking Brooklyn. Oh! Where they both tap? They both tapped! Yeah. You could tell Trey and Red are really good friends because they're still friends after that secret came out. <laughs> We completed everything on that paper. <laughs> okay. I thought we lost that paper forever. But... Looks like Trey's adopted parents taped it all together, back together. And we got to cross that last thing off, and that was inducted to the Hall of Fame. No, they don't want, no, no, they don't want, no. Oh, there's the Hall of Fame of class. We're on the stage. And we're hugging. <laughs> and there we are clapping, waving to the fans. Now we're on the loading screen, and I got another new belt called the Titans. The Titan, the Titan, Titan, Titan. <laughs> My career mode completed.